Now let's look at problem number 29. In problem 29, we want to find the horizontal asymptote of the function f of x is equal to 3x cubed minus 7 divided by x to the fourth plus 5x squared. All right, so uh, how do we want to find this horizontal asymptote? We know that the way we find horizontal asymptotes is we take the limit as x goes to infinity of the rational function. So let's do it. Uh, I'll write this down. This is the limit as x goes to infinity of this rational function, which is 3x cubed minus 7 divided by x to the fourth plus 5x squared. And we need to find that limit. Now, uh, if we're going to go ahead and find this limit, then I need to ask the question, looking at the numerator and the denominator, which of them has the highest power of x and what is it? Well, in this case, the highest power of x is x to the fourth. So I want to go ahead and divide the top and the bottom by x to the fourth. So let me write that in. So I get this as the limit as x goes to infinity of 3x cubed minus 7 divided by x to the fourth divided by x to the fourth plus 5x squared divided by x to the fourth. Let's simplify that just a little bit and we get that this is the limit as x goes to infinity of I've got 3x cubed minus 7 divided by x to the fourth. That can be simplified, broken into two fractions, and the first one would be 3x cubed divided by x to the fourth, or another way of writing that, it's just 3 over x. Then I get minus 7 over x to the fourth, or minus 7 over x to the fourth, divided by... On bottom, I have x to the fourth divided by x to the fourth, but x to the fourth divided by x to the fourth is just one. And then I get plus five x squared over x to the fourth, which is just five over x squared. Now we can take the limit as x goes to infinity, and we don't get some form like infinity over infinity, which we really can't work with. If we let x go to infinity now, 3 over a very big number is going to 0. 7 over a very big number is going to 0. And 5 over a very big number is going to 0. So what are we left with? On top, I have 0 minus 0, which is 0. And on bottom, I have 1 plus 0, which is 1. Or 0 over 1, which is 0. So we end up with a value 0. And if we want to answer the question, what's the horizontal asymptote of this function, uh, then we get that y equals 0. Now, I think it's worth saying again that uh, in the last problem, the last video I did, uh, number 25, uh, I talked about how you could take the numbers out in front of the highest power of x, but that that only works if the power on top and bottom that are the highest power of x are the same. So if you have, if this would have been an x to the fourth, you could have done that. In this case, you can't. But really you can. Uh, but you just have to realize that what is the highest power of x? It's x to the fourth. How many x to the fourths do I have on the top? Well, I really have zero x to the fourths on top. 0x to the 4th on top, 1x to the 4th on bottom. So if I want to take the coefficients out in front of the x to the 4ths, then I get 0 over 1, which is 0, which is exactly the answer. So that trick does work here as well. Uh, you just have to remember that you can't see the x to the 4ths that are showing up.